everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to upgrade our operating system to Debian Release Buster. The reason for creating this video is that the 2020 Demonix release is only supported if you have the Debian Buster installed. So if you feel that you're stuck running on an old Demonix release, or if you have updated to Debian Buster and your Demonix environment is no longer working, then you can use this tutorial. I also want to take the opportunity to mention that it's wise to keep your Debian release up to date as you would do with a Windows machine to receive the latest patches and updates. The total process will take an hour to an hour and a half to complete. By the end of this video, we are going to try to fix the following problem. I just installed the latest 2020 Demotics release. And as you can see, the installation has been complete. And we have our IP address and port number that should give us access to the Demotics environment. Now, if I then open Demotix, then it should open the environment. But what are we getting? We're getting Demotix offline. So this is performed from Debian stretch release. And in the next steps, we will upgrade Debian stretch to Debian Buster. We first need to ensure that our current Raspberry and operating system is entirely up to date. Upgrading all the current installed packages ensures that we have a cleaner upgrade path to Raspberry and Buster. So let's first update all the current installed packages by running the following command. sudo apt update enter. Now we run the command sudo apt dist dash upgrade minus y enter we utilize this upgrade instead of the plain upgrade command to force Raspberry to upgrade to the latest available versions of all packages regardless of whether they need to be updated this process can take from half an hour to an hour to complete So now we are going to update the Raspberry Pi's firmware and we can do this by running the following command sudo rpi dash update enter Once all the update processes have been completed we can proceed to upgrade the Raspberry installation to Raspberry Buster Now that we've prepared our Raspberry and Stress installation, we can move forward with upgrading to Buster. To do this, we need to modify the slash etc apt sources list file by running the command sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. Enter. And the only thing you need to do is change the wording where it says stretch or your older uh, Debian version to Buster. Press Control X, press uh, Y for saving and enter. Next, we need to edit another file by running the command sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash raspy dot list enter also here we're going to change the wording of stretch to buster and press press control x y enter to save the file now before we migrate to Raspberry and Buster, we will first remove the apt list changes package. The reason for removing this package is to give us a faster and smoother upgrading process. Without removing this package, the Raspberry operating system 
will have to load a fairly large change log, which will slow us down during the upgrade process. So we're going to run the command sudo opt get remove opt list changes enter we are now ready to begin the upgrade process by running the command sudo opt update enter And next, we run the command sudo opt dist dash upgrade, enter. The upgrade process has now been completed. We now want to get rid of some new applications that have automatically been installed. These packages are not supported by Raspberry Pi Foundation and are recommended to be removed. We can remove these packages by running the following command, which I will also put into the description of this video. Enter. Next, we need to run a few more commands to ensure that we've cleaned up everything left over from the upgrade. The first command that we will be running is the package manager's auto remove command. This command will remove any packages that have been marked as no longer needed due to change dependencies, which is the following command, sudo opt auto remove minus y, enter. Now we need to run the apps packet manager's auto clean. This auto clean command will clear out the package cache. It automatically removes any package files that are no longer available for download and therefore are largely useless. Use the following command, sudo opt auto clean, enter. The final thing we will do is restart our Raspberry Pi. Restarting ensures that the Raspberry Pi will load in all the new buster packages and clear out any old data sitting into the memory. And the command for rebooting is sudo reboot, enter. Now the Debian system has been upgraded. We've rebooted the Raspberry Pi. It's now time to go back to the web browser uh, where we still can see the uh, offline message and try to refresh the page and see if the Modux is now online with the latest version of Debian. As you can see, we again have a working uh, system. So for all of you who have these kind of issues uh, after upgrading to the latest release or perhaps do not want to upgrade to a new release because you're still on the old Debian version. You can use this tutorial steps. And as you can see, we have another running Demotics again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.